California is a leader in renewable energy and the state has pledged to use only clean sources for electricity including wind and solar power by 2045. One hurdle is energy storage, but as we hear from Mike O'Sullivan, an old solution involving water and improving battery technology may help the state reach its goal of zero emissions. California promises to use 60% renewable energy sources for power generation by 2030 and all zero emission sources by 2045. At Castaic Lake, north of Los Angeles, a power plant with a double reservoir may help them do that. It's one of 40 pumped storage facilities around the United States that is used for large-scale energy storage. A smaller site helps San Diego meet its power requirements and more are planned. The idea is simple. When you have excess energy during the day, you pump the water up a hill and it stays there and then at the end of the day you're able to bring that um, generating unit online and then supply the energy back into the grid. Producing power without burning fossil fuels. Most utility scale power is stored this way using water. A smaller amount is stored with batteries, the kind used in electric vehicles and modern devices. In our cell phones, in our uh, laptop computers, but they are expensive. So the challenge is to make them larger for transportation and power system application and make it cost effective. He foresees a future when electric vehicles are tapped for power when not in use. Solutions where these vehicles energy could be delivered to the grid, we call it V2G. That's vehicle to grid, but it's a long way in the future. For now, water is used to store large amounts of energy, and Los Angeles power officials hope to build a major project at Lake Mead near Las Vegas, where the Hoover Dam already generates hydroelectric power. If you could add some pumps and pipelines after it goes through the dam, at some point downriver, pump it back upstream, back into Lake Mead, and just recirculate it, then you could actually increase the efficiency and optimize that asset creating a pump storage component to the existing power plant, further reducing carbon emissions in the region. 